All right, welcome back to Black 2. We are somewhere. I think we just hit the city with the fashion person's gym. And let's see who we got on the team. We've got Dr. Animo at 25, Ursa at 25, Riddler at 26, Ice King at 24, Joker at 26, and Calypso at 26. I think Riddler and Joker still have the EXP shares. I think I'm going to... Let's... Okay, the Evil Light... Oh. Well, Ice King did have the Evil Light, but now it has an EXP share. Uh, who needs an Evil Light? Dr. Animo? Dr. Animo has Soft Sand. Ursa. Oh, wait, no, Ursa. Obviously, you don't want to give that to him. Yeah. Um, Alright, I'm just going to take that Evil Light then. We'll get Riddler pumped up a little bit more than uh, Joker, because Joker doesn't have as much combat potential at the moment. I don't know why I was going into the PC there. I meant to grab my dowsing machine. All right, so we're going to loot the city. And the metal guy is still here for some reason. Step-by-step -step saber method. Oh. Okay. Sure. All right, let's go see what we can loot around town, and then we'll see where the gym is. Ooh, there's hidden items in town. No matter which way I look at it, you're a trainer, but only the strongest can enter this battle institute. Oh. Okay. So I have to beat the champion. Alright, fine. I didn't want to go to your battle institute anyway. I do, however, want the loot that's next to it. Ooh, a PP up. Those are always handy. You have to have three Pokemon for triple battles and rotation battles. What should I do? I still only have two partners right now. Well, go catch another Pokemon instead of standing around town. It's not that hard. Um, yep, well, that's obviously something big storyline, so let's talk to everybody else first. Excuse me, sir. Anvil Town. Yep, gear station is inside past the people in the crazy captain outfits. Oh. This is the amusement park, which I believe contains the gym. Ooh, giant blow-up Pichus and Pikachus. All right. Well, that was an interesting first date couple. You guys, any of you guys got loot? Trashkin! <gasps> Ring target. Not really useful, but trash can loot. Interestingly enough, trash can loot gets detected by the hidden loot detector. So that's good to know. Can't stop sneezing. Spring is here. Uh-huh. Um, no thanks. I'd rather not fight you because I have was not prepared for actually fighting somebody. <laughs> uh, what levels are the gym in this city? Um, which city is this? Uh, Nimbasa. Oh, of course. 28, 28, and 30. Whoa, we are way under leveled by like three to four levels, five levels. They've expanded this theme park area out, though. A damp rock. Yeah, so I'm assuming the trainer in the uh, amusement park area is probably closer to that side than anything else. Alright. Well, it's a good thing I did not decide to take that challenge. And the gym leader is goofing off riding the roller coaster, so we'll deal with them later. Loot. Ooh, I got the hell? I found dropped item. Put the dropped item in the key items case. What? Oh, I found somebody's X transceiver. I get it. Hang on to it for you a little bit. Okay, uh huh. Name's Na, er, sorry, Yancey. Okay. 
So it's probably Nancy? What? I, I'm, I'm not certain they're giving me the correct name here. Like, this seems just a little bit suspicious. That's interesting. I'm not sure if that was a randomized dropped item or if that was supposed to be picked up there. Very strange. All right, I'm going to loot the rest of the city because obviously the gym leader is progress, and that's over that way. You know, for a town that has its own amusement park, everyone seems really psyched about it. Like, they don't get bored with it or anything. And I learned the big stadium and small court are dangerous, dangerous places after last time in white because they have trainers. So, yeah. Do you have any idea on the levels of those trainers? No. All right, well, I'm going oh. to loot the rest of the houses here, and then we'll go see what's going on at the train station. Shiny Crocker. Oh. Well, the colors blew my mind. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, so that person I've never actually gotten through. Uh, after you call them, it, talk to them ten times. Mm -hmm. They'll register you to their phone. If you call them fifty times, you'll be able to trade with them. Mm hmm. And they have like twenty different trades available. Interesting. And I randomized all the trades, so that'll be interesting. Ooh, thank you for the free sunstone. They have a lava fit, your feared enemy. <laughs> well, they won't when I do it, but... It's a huge side quest where you have to step on specific spots all over Unova, and it gets complicated, don't do it. Alright, sounds like a plan, I won't bother with it then. If I happen to run into some of the spots, I might try a bit of it, but if it's too overwhelmingly complicated, it's probably better not to do it while trying to take over the region. Fifteen areas. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. You only need ten calls, though, so... Source game, yep. in the trash. These guys are not terribly great for loot. <laughs> I say that and I get a third Soothe Bell. Before too long I can have my Pokemon go up on stage and play music on the bells. All right, so I think I pretty much cased the city, so let's see what's going on at the train station. Who do we have up front? Animo, Animo, eh, give Animo a bit of a break. Yeah, let's keep Animo in. Animo has some pretty strong attacks at lower speed, so it handles everything pretty well. All right, random people in coats and sailor hats. Subway bosses. Sure, let's battle with the other character. Alright, bring it on, guys. 2v2. Follow the rules and drive safely. Thank you. You're obviously... Uh, Obviously, highly intelligent, sir. Okay. Their costumes look a lot more ridiculous when you actually get closer. Okay, we got a Simiseer and a Cacnea. Fire and grass straight up. Which, and hey... Interesting. So the other main character also has a Bohemia. A Bohemium. There's a lot of them going around. Alright, well. 
I think I'm going to bulldoze because that's going to wreck the crap out of the Simiseer. Oh, it's also going to hit the Behem. Oh, well. I may have just killed my partner's Pokemon. <laughs> right. oh, I didn't do that much damage to him. It just nuked all of their speeds, too. It did not do that much damage. Huh. Well, it did slow their speed down, so that's good. Oh, there we go. Alright, now I don't have anything good against a Cacnea, unfortunately. Grass is currently a slight weak area of weakness, although I can switch into uh, Ice King. Holy crap, that Cacnea is just going to town on that. Oh, because it's a poison attack, or a bug attack. Yeah, I kind of killed my partner's Pokemon. A little bit. All right. Well, it's a grass type, pure grass or bug, so I think Ice King is the best one for the situation. Oh, the damage splits when there's multiple targets. Oh. No, he killed it! Oh, well. Um, you can't catch Pokemon from double battles anyway. The uh, Game Shark code does not do well with double battle captures. Unless you're controlling both, I think, so. But I, the Gym Leader's Pokemon is actually... The Gym Leader's over in the amusement park. Is that a separate area? Or do I have to count the uh, basketball and football stadiums as part of the main city where that is a different area. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'm going to go see if it gives me a different thing. Oh, and they gave me... Oh, I wanted loot, but a versus recorder is fine. I guess. Would have liked some other loot. All right, let's see if our gym leader is actually in a separate area. Are they actually in their gym? No, there we have to go somewhere else to find them. And nope, okay, so the gym leader is our capture for this city, so we couldn't have captured that even if we had want to. So anyone wanting that Cacnea wasn't going to happen. The Cacnea would have been a good one. It's not very good anyways. Eh, I don't know, it's a grass one with bug moves. It wouldn't have been a terrible one. That one missile attack decimated the beh behium, behium, something pin like missile? that. Yeah, that's a normal type move. Or no, pin missile's a bug. It's a no, multi hit. Pin it's a multi hit bug. Look it up. Huh. Jolteon learns it. It's the only reason I know that. That has it. <laughs> so it's just straight up uh, normal. Nope. Oh, well, I could be wrong. I am wrong. <laughs> Oh, it's Grass Dark. Ooh, that's an interesting typing. Not a lot of Grass Darks out there. Alright, so what are the levels of the stuff in the football stadium? Um, from what I remember, they were decently high level. Yeah, I don't- I remember we had a really bad time when we went in here too early without grinding elsewhere. Um, is there anything over here to the right? I think I'm gonna head over to Anvil Town, though, to see if there's anything over that way. Oh, thank you for the macho brace. Very nice of you. And no trash can loot. All right. So let's head over to Anvil Town, see if there's any loot there, and then we'll come back for this gym later. So I think we're actually not going to be able to do much until I grind a bit. And I don't really want to grind on camera when it's that many levels. That's five levels, holy crap. Alright, it was the brown train to Anvil Town. Right? Oh, ooh, trash can loot. Oh, I'm going to have to check every terminals for trash cans. <laughs> Alright. I accept your challenge.
Yeah, no thanks. Alright. So many empty trash cans. And if any of the chat mods are on. I am. Alright. Well, I'm not thinking there's any loot in here, but I have to check for the sake of completeness. Also, my currently displayed badge is the Trash Master, which kind of means I need to hold the title by checking everything. Thank you. Damn, ah, can't get to the trash can. Why would you hide a trash can all the way back there? It implies to me that there would be something there, but I've just checked every trash can and there's nothing there. It, it's like Game Freak just doesn't like trash can loot all that much. It's really sad. I mean, who doesn't like trash can loot? I guess if I had my dowsing machine on the whole time, I could have told I could have been able to tell if it was trash can loot in there or not without having to walk all the way down. I wonder if I can get healing items or something with the trades here if they've changed up at all. Um, not really curious about the train. I've seen it once before. Two of your escape ropes for one revive. Nope, I am not taking revives because this is a Nuzlocke. It's totally useless. I don't have any star pieces. 20 Pokeballs for one full restore. Um, I'm going to pass because I can't heal during battle anyway, so I have other healing items that more than compensate for a full restore. And I don't have such an overwhelming number of Pokeballs that I can blow that on it, because that's four grand for a full restore. Also, I don't remember this place being accessible before. Oh, this is probably another one of those seasonal things where like, the snow will drift up and you can actually access other things. Ugh. Seasons are fun on the game, but they really need to switch seasons like every week rather than every month. Is that a shiny Galvantula? I don't know. Maybe it's just a regular one. Yes, it's kind of cool riding a train. Unfortunately, none of this scenery has loot in it, which disappoints me greatly. Nobody ever came to pick this up. Oh, yay! This is the guy who has... <gasps> I will take a rare candy, sir! Yay! This is the lost and found guy who gives you a random item every time you show up to him. Or something. He's my favorite person in this town. Because he gave me loot. 